art competition slashes of vardorn uh it's a creative contest fear is in the air vampires can you taste it with the month of halloween upon us it's time for stonelock studios to put out the call for yet another bone chilling art competition this year we're celebrating the vibrant personalities of the deadliest of vardorin with a new theme slashers slashes of vardorin this year's theme is dedicated to the spirit of the gory flicks that fill our theaters and haunt our dreams during these cool autumn days but with a little v rising twist we want you to take one of our many iconic v bloods and reimagine them in the spirit of this seasonal horror movie staple <clears throat> for some characters like gorswine with their rotting pig head and rusty blade and tristan who really is a horror movie villain for vampires we fully expect to see those familiar faces. However, we hope you check the whole roster and get a little bit more creative. Speaking of which, they don't have to resemble any currently existing horror movie characters. Just make them properly horrifying. Let's get Beatrice the Slayer out of the way now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this image out of my mind now. Thank you. Th thanks so much. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm sure the gears in, in your twisted minds have started turning, but I'm sure you're wondering how you can go about expressing yourself. That means, sorry, what mediums are you limited to? Feel free to submit your vision by any visual means you prefer, as long as it was made by you. Your work must have been made in its entirety by you. That means we do not allow tracing or AI assistance, illustrations, movie posters, animations, 3D sculpts, live action, wait, 3D sculpts, really? Live action videos, whatever you can, wait, hold on, hold on, let me reread that. That means we do not allow tracing or AI assistance, period. Okay, okay, I think I misread that illustrations movie posters animations 3d sculpts live action videos whatever you can think of so all those things are allowed i was gonna say i was, I was confused for a moment i was like what but yeah um the full rules for submissions can be found here uh let's see your submitted work should contain at least one v blood character from v rising with a theme centered around horror movie slashers Communication and execution of this theme will be primarily uh, will be a primary factor in judging submissions. The image dimensions can be a maximum of 2000 by 2000 pixels. You can illustrate everything by hand, use digital processes, photography and cosplay, photography and video or 3D modeling. All mediums are welcome. Interesting. Submitted art should be created by you and only you. Please submit evidence of your process in the form of a layered original image, file, or video time lapse of your process to verify authenticity. Wow, that's a lot for a. It's interesting. Okay. Let's agree that 15 megabytes is the max size of the final product provided for images. This size limit does not apply to the evidence. Sorry does not apply to the evidence of authenticity but please try to be reasonable in your sizes of those as well videos should be no longer than 120 seconds and must be linked as youtube videos alternatively videos can be sent in their entirety in a quicktime movie or mp4 file format to the contest email you can portray blood and violence of course but please avoid nudity and sexual violence you can submit up to three entries, but we highly suggest creating one fantastic entry. Sharpen your fangs and pencils. You have until 11.59 p.m. GMT on Thursday, November 7th to send in your entry to contest at playvrising.com. Please include your full name, optional, and a social media or art station URL so we can credit you for your work. I like that. I like that they're requesting this. That's nice. Uh, let's see. By submitting artwork to us, you will permit us to share it secondhand. That's fair. Prizes. Grand prize winner will receive a V Rising vinyl. V Rising merch pack. V Rising hoodie of your choice. V Rising XL mouse pad. V Rising mug. V Rising keychain, V Rising shirt of your choice, V Rising clan pack, four copies of V Rising for you and your closest clanmates, all current and future DLC 
for you to lord over them. Wait, current and whoa, hold on, current and future. What? All current and future DLC. That's interesting. Two runner up finalists will receive V Rising mug, V Rising keychain, V Rising shirt of your choice, Castlevania DLC. Seven other finalists will receive Castlevania DLC, Dracula's Relics DLC, and Sinister Evolution Pack DLC. Please note that receiving physical prizes require that you can receive shipping from us. If you cannot receive shipped items, we cannot get these items to you and you will not be able to collect your prizes. For those of you who enter the art competition, let us see you flaunt your submissions on your socials. Also, don't forget to tag us. We would love to signal boost your work. Winners will be announced and contacted on Thursday, November 14th. Nice. Okay. We got to keep that out on our calendars then. Let me see. So that's a... Oh, I don't stream Thursdays. God damn it. Well, whoever wins... Good luck. <laughs> or whoever decides to enter this, good luck. Uh, here's another thing they put down. Uh, return of the Haunted Nights. With the onset of this terrifying time of year, it also comes with return of the much-beloved Haunted Nights Castle Pack. This entirely free seasonal DLC will be available on Steam and PS5! Let's go! Yes! Yes! That is great news for all the peeps out there playing the game on PS5. I am so happy for you. I get this question like so many times in my comments like, are they gonna put the Haunted Nights pack out for PS5? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. But now I can tell you. Yes! Yes! That's so good! I'd say this is more of an announcement than the contest, but hey, you know, that's good. Congratulations, guys. To be claimed- oh! Hold on, there's a time limit. To be claimed from October 16th to November 16th. So tomorrow to the six, for, sorry. You have tomorrow and then a month through until November 16th to get it. So make sure you grab that. If you don't have the pack yet, make sure to get it on Steam and PS5. And it's free. It's free, guys. There's no reason not to get it if you have the game. Just get it, okay? I mean, if you don't like spider webs, I get it, but... There's other nice things in the pack, too, so just think about it. <laughs> Please keep in mind that after you claim this pack, it will become available to you permanently, so you won't lose access to it when the season is up. Ah, okay, so this explains a lot. So this was something I was kind of confused about, right? Because I noticed that the pack was available to me on Steam, even off season. And I thought, oh, is it just always up? Apparently not. Apparently it's only during the, the time, but once you have it, you can just re-download it or whatever if you like change PCs or something, right? Or change uh, consoles, essentially. So that's actually really interesting. Um, I'm glad they clarified that here. I didn't expect a clarification, but yeah, it's a nice pack. It comes with the chest, the mirror, uh, three different... No, I think there's four different... Uh, I think there's like... Yeah, I think there's like four different uh, candle stand things. Like, they're counted as braziers, I think, in the game. Hello, Muzika Musa. Welcome to the chat. How you doing? Yeah, so it, that's actually really cool. Um, the pack also comes with stuff like... Uh, uh, it comes with a window glass, a carpet. Well, actually, hold on. Why am I trying to remember this? It tells you right here. <laughs> here we go. Haunted night stained glass, uh, web drapes for pillars, walls, and windows. By the way, the ones that go on the walls, they go over curtains. So when you use them on the walls on a curtain, the curtain doesn't disappear. It's added on. Same thing with things like uh, bookcases on the on the walls. So yeah, you can put them both on simultaneously. Same thing with the uh, the pillar ones. So if you have lights on the pillar, you can uh, put those on top of them as well, which is really cool. Yeah, the PlayStation guys are finally catching up. It's great. That's great. I'm really happy that they decided to do that because that was actually one of the questions I asked during the interview with Jeremy. I was like, hey, um, so the PS5 peeps, they want to know. And he's like, well, I, I don't know. So I was like, damn it. <laughs> But hey, we got our answer. So yeah, I'm really happy for you guys. That's great. Uh, so we also have the carpet, floating gourd, gourd lantern. Oh yeah, the floating gourd is nice. And then and the lanterns. These are these are really nice. Uh, the floating gourd is like a chandelier, right? Uh, standing mirror, which is this thing right here. Um, 
let's see, small stash, wall decor, uh, coffin. So the small stash is this thing. The coffin is this thing. I forget what the wall decor is. Wall decor? Oh, it's wallpaper. I remember now. It's a wallpaper. Yeah. And the wallpaper has like bats on it and it's like orange. It's kind of neat. Uh, skull, uh, let's see, coffin, skull candy, candles, not candies. I'm sorry, guys. Skull candles. Um... Laughing pumpkin, grinning pumpkin, and wailing pumpkin. I think it's the wailing pumpkin we don't see in this image. And these are the, this is the one with the, um, the skull lights. Oh yeah, that's, I mean, this is great. Oh, here we go. So they shows you some of the pictures, you know, Halloween spirit. I'm just kind of looking around in case there's anything suspicious here, but it seems to be in order. Um, let's see what else we got here. Yep. Same thing in action. This looks really cool. I, I like these a lot. I, I really like this pet. Okay, so there's one complaint I have with the pack. All right. Now, this is, I think, the whaling pumpkin right here. But if you look at if you look at the pumpkins, you see how bright they are compared to like everything else in the environment. Like even the gourd lanterns are like not as bright as this. Like this is just ridiculously bright. I have a theory, guys, a theory that when the game went from early access to 1.0, I feel like the devs didn't go in and adjust the lighting on these because the game used to be a lot darker. And now that the game isn't as dark visually, these pumpkin lights are bright as fuck. Okay. Like I look at it and it's like, oh, my eyes, they're bleeding. Okay. My eyes aren't bleeding yet, but you know, I'm being dramatic, but you know what I mean? While you have this DLC, all items unlock and become available in game to be crafted as you become worthy of crafting equivalent equipment. Get it before the season is out. More to come. We've got even more talk to talk about this month. Oh, good news and updates on the development of V Rising. Oh, guys, you know what this means? This means we got another breakdown video coming up. Stay tuned and follow us on our social media to be uh, to be among the first to know all about the lurks in the depths of the Stonelock Studio Crips. Hello, Spidey. Welcome to the chat. Spidey, I have good news for you. The people on the PS5 version of E Rising will be able to get these now. So now they're going to get all the freaky spider webs and stuff. They get to follow in, in your footsteps of putting webs everywhere. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's super cool. Yep, and it's free. So they have a month to get it starting tomorrow. So yeah, if you're on PS5, make sure you grab that up. Remember, it's a free DLC. Uh, it looks like you have to go to the PlayStation Store to get it. So uh, yeah, make sure you do that, guys. That's super cool. I'm, I'm really glad, really happy for you guys. All right, so we went over it. Uh, you know, quick review. There's an art competition. If you have... Uh, any kind, and the thing is, the art competition doesn't seem to only be limited to just drawing, because uh, it, it says here illustrations, movie posters, animations, 3D sculpts, live action uh, videos, and whatever you can think of. Right now, the thing that I don't, okay, so I understand why this rule is here, but it says that means we do not allow tracing or AI assistance. Tracing, I think, is a given. AI assistance kind of sucks. Um, the reason why I say that is, be well, I get, I get why it's here, right? Like they want people to be originally able to make these things on their own, but there are people who are not illustrators, so they'll have to come up with other ideas. Uh, I like the live action videos idea. I think that's pretty neat, but I'm not sure if people would really want to go that far, but the contest prize is pretty enticing. So I don't know if you guys have a, an artistic, you know, feel to you or you're able to to visualize and then, you know, create into the ether, whatever it is that you want to make and you're able to su uh, submit. Uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, the prize pool for the grand prize winner is pretty good. So, I mean, it definitely outshines my contest. Hell, this is like way above and beyond. Like this is the thing that really gets me, though, is it says all current and future DLC. How is that possible? How do you how do you win a prize for something in the future? So I guess you could say that future DLC is all but confirmed. I mean, when I talked to Jeremy on the interview uh, that came up in question, and it sounds like they're they're going to probably come out with a new DLC whenever we get another big patch 
um, at least from what he said. And it looks like this is just another doubling down or confirmation of that. So it looks to me like it's all but confirmed and we just haven't like we just don't know what it's going to be. But what's cool is that at the end here, they mentioned um, having some more news to share with us. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I assume probably sometime next week they're going to come out with something. So I'll keep my eyes peeled. Um, hopefully when they do, I'll be able to cover it. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. That's really that's really exciting. Uh, Spidey, I'm not sure if we did get an update, I don't see it happening anytime soon. It would be nice if we got an update like see how long has the game been out now let me look at my calendar here uh oh hold on let's see we're in october right may june july august september october that's like eight months so in about four months maybe we can expect a big update i think maybe not i don't know because when I last spoke with them, it felt it felt like they were still planning. So I don't know. They could have just been pulling my leg. I, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I hope that we see something soon. I would love to see the servants update. I mean, we need it. Please, please give us a servants update. Please. <laughs> Even a bit of a teaser this Halloween would be good enough. Yeah, something like that. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, when it comes up, we'll talk about it. Uh, just a review. I myself am also hosting a contest. I put out a video about this about eight days ago. Uh, the contest is still happening. You still have time to submit your stuff. Um, so just know that. Uh, hold on. In the description of this video, I have a link to the form. I'm not going to click on it right now, but I do have a link to the form. And the form kind of is what I go over in this video. Let me just kind of skip forward a little bit. Okay, you have until October 26th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to submit your castle. So, yeah, uh, not much time left. We have about uh, a little over a week now. Um, good luck. <laughs> the reason why it's due on the 26th is because uh, the week after is actually when I'm going to be doing that subathon and all that. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. Mm -hmm.